welcome back to the channel or indeed welcome to the channel if you're not subscribed please do because I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers thank you now I don't know what's going on in the background there but it might be heat stroke from that bird and that's the idea today I've had an idea and I've had a bit of a breakthrough and I'd like to share it for a bit of extra cooling and the breakthrough was to do with this fan it's a USB one quite cheap when well, I managed to blow it up a few weeks ago and the normal problem with this kind of a fan is that they are very plasticky and you can't get the things apart well I've managed to and with some digging around the sides and I managed to remove a little piece of brass and take this part out so yeah it was uh, a little bit of a task but it is possible if you dig around the sides, there's a kind of a holding area of plastic that will eventually give way. So, now that the circuit board is duff, and also on here, the little hole sensor is broken, I had an idea, and that was to convert this to a Bedini circuit and get it running from 5 volts. Can I get this fan going again? So the first part of this is to have a look at the coils. And there we are, there's four individual coils on here, which hopefully will relate to the transmitting and receiving two coils you get in a Bedini setup. I'm going to use the following circuit diagram. And the idea is to run it from 5 volts, connect to the coils, and see if we can get this to run. Seems like a simple idea, but it's made all the more simple by the fact that I managed to, <laughs> managed to pull the thing apart. Let's get on with it. Now, I will post the circuit I do come up with, uh, but it won't be exactly to the original because I'm not charging 12 volt batteries. I'm not running it from 12 volt batteries. But the first thing I've had to do also is to separate these coils. They were all connected one to the next to the next. So I've disconnected the wires. You might be able to see the bare wires now. And that gives four separate coils. What I'm going to do is have opposite sides connected to each other. And here's what I've ended up with by a process of elimination. There's just a 100 ohm resistor, an S8050 transistor and a 1N4007 diode. And I'll tell you what I did. I didn't need the big transistor because we're only running on 5 volts at low amperage I didn't need one of the diodes because we're not charging another 12 volt battery or any other battery which meant of course didn't need the neon and didn't need the potentiometer to set up the best charging level because again no battery on the other end so there we are it's, it's three components I'll show it working in a minute but first of all here is the new circuit diagram So there we are, it must, be, it must be about the simplest Bedini type circuit possible. Anyway, I've connected up now to 5 volt USB power supply and we'll see what the current draw is. There we go, it's running. And the current draw, wait for it to come round. Yeah, 160, 200 milliamps, 140. Averaging around say 180 somewhere like that, which is about comparable with what it used to draw before now, I've got to work on the bearing a little bit. That'll probably improve things But it is running and I'll put the microphone next to the wind and you can hear it So there we are I am thoroughly surprised that it only took three components But it's working. It's back up and running and finally, just a quick note about that apparent mistake. It was this getting in the way. It was this charge doctor. You can see that the light isn't on on the USB supply, but if I start it up, well, obviously the light will now be on. But the thing is, I can stop this, and in a few seconds time, that light will go out and the thing will switch off and it's ready for the next time. I'll just have to spin it again, and it'll start up. We'll just give it a, a few seconds here for the thing to realise that there's no power going out and that's the point. There's no drain 
on the USB supply. There we go, so it's gone off. But if I just flick again, whoops, <laughs> then off we go and it's running again. So it does use no power when it's stopped. Anyway, thanks very much for watching.